So today we're going to replace a mirror on an F-150. Uh, we've already shown you how this mirror over here is cracked. This is a mirror that we're going to replace it with. So the structure that we need to deal with is removing a screw here that uh, goes to the interior panel right there. And then we have two exterior uh, screws that hold on to the outside of the door. Now the interior screw is a standard uh, uh, hex screw. Uh, it's a eight millimeter. The interesting thing is, is the exterior screws are Torx. They're T25 Torx. And so uh, you'll need to also have a set of torque wrenches in order to be able to replace this mirror. Fortunately, you can get Torx wrenches fairly inexpensively, and they're always great to have in your set. We'll put links in the bottom down here for the uh, tools and parts that we use here so as that you have an uh, easy access to be able to uh, get these tools uh, yourself. Now, we do appreciate it if you use our links because that helps us uh, be able to pay for these videos so we can continue to provide them for you guys in order to um, be able to be more effective in repairing your own vehicles. Most of your kits are gonna come with some replacement parts and screws. Uh, you can use them if you choose. If your factory parts are still good, I would recommend using those. Um, the foam piece is uh, one that will go to the inside. We'll show you that uh, when we get there. Uh, now, th in this particular kit, the uh, replacement screws for the outside, they're nice and black, they look good. Uh, they're uh, Phillips uh, number two. So you can use that instead of the Torx if you choose. Uh, it's just whatever you like, but you do have to have a Torx in order to get the factory mirror off. And additionally, you should have a new plastic weather piece for the outside of the door for the uh, mirror to sit in. Now, there are left and right sides, and they're a little bit different. Uh, if we can zoom in right here, you'll notice that there's an L indicating that this is for the left-hand side or the driver's side. So you want to make sure that your mirror and your weather stripping piece all match up to the left-hand side of the car. They should be marked. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and remove the uh, interior screw. Uh, it shouldn't be terribly tight. Um, so just go ahead and get that loose. Again, if this is in good shape on your vehicle, I recommend you go ahead and use it. Uh, I sincerely like the uh, fender washer that they uh, have on this one, uh, more so than the little um, washer that uh, comes in this particular kit. So we are definitely gonna reuse uh, this particular screw. So now we're going to go ahead and remove the uh, exterior torque screws. All right, so now we've taken out both of the screws uh, and the interior bolt. So we'll just take it out and it just slides out like that. And sure enough, it looks just like the one that we're gonna put back in. There's the old weather stripping. You notice it's kind of real tight on there. So it's, and it's old, has a few cracks on it. So we're gonna use the new one that we've got for sure. But we are gonna use the factory bolts because those uh, are a little um, stronger and I think a little better than the ones that came in the kit. Now, before you do anything else, one of the things you wanna do, and it's just a safety issue, is you want to make sure that the mirror is properly attached to the handle. So just go ahead and just do a quick check to make sure that they've got the uh, two Phillips P2 screws in here nice and tight. These are good, uh, so I'm not going to do anything more with it, but it's just a good check to make sure that when they left the factory that everything is snug and tight so it doesn't come off on you down the road. You'll notice that they do wiggle loose. This whole mirror uh, itself is going to fall off and you're only gonna be left with just your uh, support stem there. So it's just a quick check, it works. Then the next thing you're gonna wanna do is be sure you put your foam pad on the end there. 
So we'll just peel the plastic uh, piece off of there. Make sure you check to make sure that you get it aligned with the hole nicely and then just uh, press it on. This will help keep the vibration from the interior panel to the uh, exterior and reduce the noise a little bit inside the car. Then the last thing you're gonna wanna do before we actually install the mirror is go ahead and put your uh, weather piece on, uh, kind of press it in place. When you screw it down, it'll go ahead and uh, solidify uh, or hold it on tight. So, but you know, if you get it on there fairly snug, it'll just help you when you get ready to put it onto the uh, door itself. You can see that it doesn't like to be on there. And this one doesn't look like it's going to snap on there. Some of them will snap on and hold. Some of them, it'll only happen after it's been on the car for a little while. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, set it into the uh, door. Okay, and we'll take and uh, just get one of the screws started here. To kind of hold it in place. All right, now that it's in place, we can go ahead and, uh, uh, without tightening the bolts here on the front, we'll go ahead and get the, uh, 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 the hex screw on the backside started, and then we can tighten each of them up a little bit at a time so we make sure that everything uh, hits nice and solid and we don't have any twisting or torquing on anything. So you'll notice I've got the screw started. You notice how it'll wiggle a little bit. You may have to hold up the mirror from the outside uh, just a little bit to get it started, but once you get it started, you can start getting it in. And now this is where you want to work it back and forth a little bit so as that you're able to uh, make sure everything aligns properly. And that's why you don't want to tighten any of these up real tight to begin with. So we're only going to go right there. We still have the play in this side, and now we're going to start working on the outside and slowly pull everything together so that we have a good fit. All right, so now we have got the uh, screws in on the inside, on the outside and on the inside. We've got a nice solid mirror. So all that's left is to clean off uh, the face of the mirror. Uh, once you get in the car and adjust it, you'll be good to go. So hopefully this has helped you have an idea of how you can replace an uh, exterior mirror on your car. Uh, unfortunately, it's not an electric mirror. Maybe one of these days we'll be able to do one for an electric mirror to give you that uh, perspective as well. We appreciate you watching this. Hope you learned something and hope you've been able to uh, follow along to get the understanding. Again, most cars have the same sort of arrangement, uh, maybe a little different screws, a little different attachment. Some of them are all attached strictly from the inside. Some of them are inside and outside like this one. So. Uh, however you go, this is the basic structure of what you want to do for replacing a mirror. Thank you very much. Please be sure and subscribe to our channel, and please use our links below for any tools or items that you want to purchase for your vehicle. Thank you very much.